YouTube, YouTube, YouTube with the word is, man. It's your boy Braille Hugger checking in. Happy Monday to y'all, man. How y'all doing? Hope y'all had a nice weekend, you know what I'm saying? Uh, cause mine was okay, you know what I'm saying? It's Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's been time, you know, y'all know how that go, man. But hopefully everybody had a nice, uh, you know what I'm saying? A nice holiday, nice weekend. Uh, time to get this money, man. It's Monday morning, you know what I'm saying? Another holiday coming this this weekend again for the be New Year. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start this off by saying, happy, you know what I'm saying? Happy holidays again, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully everybody have, you know what I'm saying, going into the new year on the, you know what I'm saying, on positive vibe, you know what I'm saying. If you're not, hopefully you keep pushing to get towards them positive, positive vibes, you know what I'm saying. It's, it's always light at the end, dog, you know what I'm saying. Just keep grinding, keep hustling, you know what I'm saying. Whatever you got your mind set on doing, keep on continuing to get to that, man. Don't ever give up no matter what nobody tell you, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, just a little Monday motivation for y'all, you know what I'm saying, because straight up, man, everybody... Not fortunate to be here and not gonna be fortunate to get to the new year, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be fortunate, you know what I'm saying, for the people that are watching the video, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? But you know, cause we're not at the new year yet, you know what I'm saying? We got another what? Four days, five days, you know what I'm saying? So today is 27, but um let me get to I'm at this uh pickup right now. It's a uh, pickup I had I showed y'all uh like I drove into uh drove into the facility and I was recording one time, like a POV. I think it was the video's called like um doing local work in Arizona like my first long video I had showed y'all that but uh yeah I'm here at this place now called the clerk is in Phoenix Arizona it's like five ten minutes away from the Phoenix uh terminal so I'm here I had an 11 30 appointment it's currently I got here like 10 55 11 o'clock for some reason I thought my opponent was at 11 but I got here around 10 55 11 and now it's um currently 11 28 and this place right here is like they pretty quick when it comes to loading you up when I got here it was like um three four trucks here but now it's only like one truck i think he just got his paperwork or something like that i'm not sure but uh it's just me and another guy uh right now i don't know if he getting loaded or unloaded but i'm just waiting to get loaded up you know what i'm saying and this load right here is heading to tracy california i'm going to tracy california again this week uh last week i went there and i delivered to um safeway grocery i believe it was and right next door to safeway groceries I recognize, like when I was getting unloaded, I recognized a Costco right across from that. So I don't know if that's the Costco I'm gonna be going to, but if it is, you know what I'm saying, that's great because I know where it says, right across from the Safeway. But if it's not, still in Tracy, California, so it can't be that, that far away, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this load delivers um, on the 29th. So I got today, tomorrow, and then, you know what I'm saying, I got a delivery start. Delivery is for 11 o'clock in the morning on the 29th. So what I'm planning to do is, I'm gonna get loaded, I'm gonna head back to the yard and I'm gonna go home for the night and I'm gonna chill for the night. I'm gonna go, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Take another shower tonight, eat tonight, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Like a regular home day. I'm gonna treat that like that and then I'm gonna drive all day tomorrow. Cause it's like 695 miles away from um from Phoenix. Or uh, like, you know what I'm saying? To get to the to get to the delivery, it's like 695 miles. So I'm gonna drive like 600 miles tomorrow. I'm gonna start like around 7:30, 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna drive all day. So that's gonna my clock probably end. My clock gonna end around ten o'clock, but I'm not gonna like. My, I'm gonna uh, drive for ten hours and take like a break, like 30, 45 minutes. So all together should be like around 11, 12 hours. I'm gonna do. So I might start around eight o'clock tomorrow, end around eight o'clock, eight thirty tomorrow, and uh, just drive the rest of the. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm gonna start like around look, seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning on um, Wednesday. Would that be Wednesday? Yeah, that'd be Wednesday, right? Yeah. Start on Wednesday around 8 o'clock in the morning and then, you know what I'm saying, get to the delivery. Get to the delivery, like around 8 11 o'clock around my appointment time. So, yeah, man, that's my plan. That's what I plan on doing, you know what I'm saying? That's how I got my day planned out. I'm good on fuel. You uh, know, so I ain't got to worry about that right now. So, everything else, you know what I'm saying? I'm good, man. I'm just checking in with y'all, like y'all know, you know what I'm saying? How the, how the Monday going to be, you know what I'm saying? Next time I check in with y'all, I know it's going to be tomorrow when I'm starting the day. Yeah, it might be just be tomorrow when I'm starting the day, cause no, 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 no point in showing y'all when I'm unloaded from here, and then I'm just gonna drive back to the yard. So there's no saying really no point for that. But uh, yeah, I just wanna check in with you guys. Let you guys know how I'm saying hi. I always say that. I feel like I say I'm checking in with you guys. I say that about three times before I end the video. I don't know. I just <laughs> I always got a habit of saying that. You know what I'm saying? So if, if I get a little re little bit repetitive, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to drive. I'm about to drive. But yeah, I'm finna go ahead. Uh, wait for them to unload me. Head back to the yard. I'm gonna say chill for the day and I'm gonna call it once. So, man, so I'm gonna check in with you guys tomorrow morning, most likely. Nine times out of ten. But y'all know I'm gonna, either way, I'm gonna check in with y'all, let you feel y'all in on the whole day and whatever, you know what I'm saying, that been happening. So, until then, man, your boy Bray off and get out of this thing, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. Y'all.
Okay, so I picked up that load yesterday and I went back to the crib. After I picked the load, I went back to the yard, uh, parked there, and went back to the house and spent the night, came back in the morning and I headed out about eight o'clock in the morning yesterday and I was driving all day yesterday. I drove my whole 11 hours yesterday and the place was 695 miles away from the yard. I, got, I did about 620 miles yesterday, including like you know what I'm saying? Not including, but I took my break. So I could've went further, but obviously I had to take a break. So I did about 620 miles. Uh, stopped my clock about, that's a good question. What, what time did I stop my clock? I don't remember, honestly. It wasn't that late though. If I was around, uh, I wanna say around seven o'clock PM or something like that. But yeah, I parked at a rest area overnight. I, I ended up about 75 miles away from the um, delivery. Well, I'm here too now. I'm about four miles away from it now. My delivery is at 11 a.m. It's currently uh, 10:42. I'm about four miles away, so I'm gonna be there shortly. But yeah, I, uh, parked at a uh, rest area overnight. Uh, headed out about nine o'clock. I had to go get some fuel, and the fuel was on route to this place. Every time I like go get fuel or uh, stop at a rest area, whatever the case may be, I go to a fuel area. I mean, a fuel um, fuel stop or uh, rest area on the route that I'm going. So I don't want to go off route just to go, you know what I'm saying? Everybody obviously, you know what I'm saying, should, I, should do that, but I'm just saying like, you know what I'm saying? I do that, that's what I do. Like, so the uh, fuel stop was like about 40 miles towards my pickup. And then I stopped, just stopped and got some fuel, some depth, and I got some reefer fuel for my, uh, for my uh, reefer, reefer trailer. So uh, yeah, I did all that. And I had about 27 miles left to get to the delivery. And that's currently what I'm doing right now. And this delivery is at 11 a.m. like I said, but I have a pickup, a pre-plan for a pickup at U.S. Foods in the same city, Tracy, California. It's about 20 minutes away from the delivery that I'm going to. I got a pickup at 15, um, 1500. So yeah, I got a, uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, three, three, three o'clock p.m. for the people that that's not familiar with military time. But yeah, I got a, I got a pickup at 1500. So I'm saying like, once I deliver this load at 11, it's not, it's like a live unload, but I'm trying to see how long they're gonna have me. If they have me like about two hours, that's not bad. Cause I delivery, I got like four hours, you know what I'm saying? Like a four hour window from my delivery time to my pickup time. And the place only 20 minutes away from my delivery. So hopefully, and if they do end up unloading me early, hopefully, um, oh my goodness. That was a big bump right there, boy. But yeah, hopefully if I, um, they unload me early, the other place that I'm going to pick up from, hopefully they load me up early. So we'll see. Cause usually, I think I've been to this US food place before. Usually they got, they, they um, try to load you around your delivery time. I mean, around your pickup time, or they try to unload you around your delivery time. So we are gonna see how that goes, man. We are gonna see how that goes. So yeah, that, remember I told y'all like, uh, Cause that's the Safeway lot I was at right there. That's the lot I was at last time I had to come deliver for Safeway. The lot was over here. So when I said I, I had seen a Costco right across from the uh, Safeway that I delivered to. And I said there might be one about to go to, for the delivery. So it, it seemed like that's where I'm about to head to too. Like it's gonna be on the same little street that I was on last, last week for my delivery at Safeway when I go to this Costco, so. I kind of figured that, but I wasn't too familiar or too sure about the situation. But yeah, we finna see how this goes, my dog. Take it six, six, seven, right. I never been to this Costco before, so I'm not. All Costco are pretty much the same. Like when you go there, you check in at a window. Some of them have you park and come check in if you're too early or too late. But. They usually just like you sitting, like you uh drive up to the window in the truck, you know what I'm saying? And then they they give you a uh, little a little um device. Yeah, they give you a little device, to, and then you, they give you a dock door, and then you know that device just a ring once you unload it, and then you go get your paperwork. Pretty much, that's pretty much every Costco I've been to. I've been to. A handful of Costco's, been to a couple of those, but 
Yeah, man. It's like deja vu. All just here. Last time I was this way, it was just nighttime. That's it. Yeah, it's like deja vu. Destination is on the right. And it's like Safeway. I think it's before Safeway. I think it's gonna be like before Safeway, but. Gonna see, man. Up a little bit on the shoulder, man. You know what I'm saying? But this should be right here. Turn right yeah, that's about it, right? Yeah, man. So I'm finna go ahead, check in here, man. See how this goes, and then uh, I'll check in with you guys when I'm getting out of here. Uh, when I'm pulling up to the next delivery. I mean, my next pickup. I always say delivery for pickup, pickup for delivery for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I always do that, man. But yeah, man, once I get up out of here, and when I'm pulling up to the um, pickup that I gotta go to, I just, I just check in with you guys then, you know what I'm saying, man, 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 man. So today, man, it's your boy Brad Hawk, y'all know what it is, man, y'all know what time it is, man. Mm -hmm. oh, my. Yo, 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 hold on, so okay, I got a quick change of plan for y'all, so okay. Uh, they just got me out of so I gotta get up out of here. I'm gonna try to make the video kinda quick so they can, uh, so I can go get up out of here, but. Um, I told you I had a delivery at 1500. I mean, I had a my goodness. See, I always told you I get that mixed up all the time. I always say that, but I had a pickup for 1500 at a place called US Foods out of Tracy, California. But that all just got switched up. As soon as I got in this dock door, dispatch sent me another pre plan. So I got two other pre plans, you know what I'm saying? So after I leave this load, I, I gotta uh deliver this trailer with two load locks to a place. Um, in California, hold on, let me see. Um, yeah, it's a place in California, probably like uh, over 100 miles from here. Oh, where's this place at? Let me see, I can just tell y'all straight up. Okay, so I gotta deliver this load to a place called Danubi, uh, Danuba, California. It's like 161 miles from here. I gotta uh, uh, deliver this empty there with two low locks. And once I drop this uh, empty off, I got a bobtail to Fresno, California uh, for a spot load. Uh, and that load right there, I gotta pick that up and that delivers uh, tomorrow morning, 7.15 a.m. at a Walmart out of uh, Shafter, California. So when I do that, okay, I gotta uh, drop this empty y'all, buy tell the fresh node, pick that uh, load up, deliver that tomorrow morning at 7.15 and once I deliver that load tomorrow, I gotta pick up out of uh, the Martin uh, Terminal in Drupal Valley. I got a uh, spot load out of there going to Phoenix, Arizona. So I got a spot load, once, once I deliver that load tomorrow, uh, morning out to Walmart. I got a uh, pickup out of yeah out of the Martin uh, terminal, and I delivered at the Phoenix, and I gotta be there at. I think that that don't yeah that don't deliver to um uh, tomorrow night not tomorrow night Jesus Christ that don't deliver to uh Friday Friday uh afternoon I think that's I say nineteen hundred it delivers at like about, about seven o'clock so I have plenty of time I've been in um once I deliver that load tomorrow. And they got overnight parking, so I'm gonna go park there for the night. I'm gonna let y'all let you guys know. I'll probably uh film film again once I um get to the place that I gotta uh, deliver to tomorrow morning. Cause they got overnight parking, so I'm gonna get there for the night uh tonight. And I'm gonna park there overnight, and then you know what I'm saying, have a delivery for tomorrow morning. But uh the Martin from the, the uh Phoenix, the Phoenix uh drop off I got tomorrow, that's only like 350 miles away from the uh, Martin terminal. So I can, I can get there tomorrow afternoon, park at the Phoenix Yard, go home for the night. I don't know, I doubt they have me waiting all the way to a Friday. Hold up, that just say Friday night, right? Oh, gee, cry. At seven o'clock. I'm gonna see, I got a, cause I got, oh, that's a good one. Cause I got, that's New Year's Eve too. Cause I got plans. Oh my goodness, I just peeped. The delivery is at, but it's in Phoenix though. So if I get put on my, I, I figured it out. But yeah, I don't know why. I just got thinking about it because that's New Year's Eve. I got plans tomorrow night. Well, not tomorrow night, Friday night for New Year's Eve. I got plans. I got, you know what I'm saying? Me and my shirt doing something. But uh, yeah, once I um drop off this, uh, I probably drop this load off at the finish yard Friday morning. Uh, get there Friday. I'm going to get that Thursday night. And I'm going to see what they got to uh, 
got me doing because I'm going to try to see if they can get me to deliver anything like Friday morning or something like that because I got something to do Friday night. You know what I'm saying? That'll be tough. But, yeah, I just want to fill y'all in on the whole change of plans and all that because I ain't got to pick up that, that 1500 pickup. I ain't got that. I got to go, you know what I'm saying, do all the other stuff I told you. I ain't going to repeat it because I feel like I repeat myself. I just already repeated it about three times. I feel like I'm just over saying you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I just want to fill y'all in, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm going to head out of here, go ahead, get to this stuff right here, and I'm going to probably check in with y'all when I'm getting to the, um, when I get to the place where I got an overnight park, I'm going to get there, overnight park, and then wait for my delivery tomorrow morning. So, yeah, until then, man, it's your boy. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm finna get up out of this thing and get to this money. You know what I'm saying? It's the extra California stuff, so it's gonna be an extra like three, four hundred dollars on my check right there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, three hundred, three, three hundred, four hundred miles, what I really meant to say. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna see how that goes, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna get up out of here, man. Y'all know what time it is, dog. My. Yo, yo, yo. What's the word? What's the word? Good morning, good morning. Just got done uh, getting unloaded at uh, this Walmart. Right here. Turned out they really didn't have overnight parking for real. I came here and I, like, I figured they didn't have overnight parking. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of foggy out here today. So you gotta, gotta be smooth, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, I, Walmart usually don't have overnight parking anyway, but I guess they were talking about like these on these side. I don't know, but I ended up parking like on this side of the road right here. I just parked like on on long on long side of the curb right there, and yeah, I just did that. And I just waited, and I went in there uh, about 6:45, 6:50 this morning, and they put me in the dock door around my appointment time, 7:15. Proceed north on Driver Road in three quarters of a mile. Turn left to Riverside Street. But yeah, uh, I was trying to make sure I was going the right way because it's kind of like an off-road. It's not like a, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I had came here uh, last night. Yeah, like, well, I told y'all that part already. I got, uh, they put me in the dock door around 7.15. Uh, got me unloaded like within an hour and a half. So I'm just not getting up out of there. Now I got to um, go take this empty. I got to go take this empty to, um, to some place some uh some place uh my dispatch want me to take to uh just drop the empty off and I'm a bobtail to uh Barton Terminal in Drew Valley and take take a load to Phoenix Arizona so that's currently what I'm what I got going on right now man so you know so I had to fill y'all in I was gonna wait until I got to the uh Martin Yard to start filming again but you know what I'm saying I figured like you know what I'm saying why not do it right now while traffic ain't crazy you know because around I, I probably start heading out to Phoenix around 1 30 p.m so we'll see Departure how they go yeah man it was like i had like about three or four not three or four about two or three local drop-offs i had do i had to take that one empty I had at first I had to take that to a place and drop that off come bobtail to another place to uh bobtail to like a little drop yard to come take this load to Walmart this little tight curb right here but then after that and it's muddy so you got to be smooth when you go around these corners you can't go too close too too much in that in that mud over there man you've been in get your front wheel stuck and then what home time delay for this week they gotta come dig me up all that <laughs> but no well yeah i had to go bob tail to a drop yard to take this load to walmart now i gotta go take this empty right here to another place oh i gotta take it to right away i've been to a couple of right but i've been to this right away right here i think that's how you say it i'll be pronouncing stuff wrong sometimes it's called tucson tuxin <laughs> Uh, it's so it's just a lot of stuff, you know. I ain't I ain't you know what I'm saying too familiar with a couple of things, but but yeah, I gotta go drop this empty off there. And then I gotta go bobtail. I'm not complaining at all, now. I don't take this as complaining, but I just had a couple of adventures, you know what I'm saying? I had to do this week. You know what I'm saying? It's the, it's the day in the life, you know what I'm saying? A week in the life. I don't want to go too fast because it's so foggy. My 
might come into a stop sign because I ain't never been on this road besides last night coming the opposite way. I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? I ain't go to sign. I, I forgot. I don't know if it was a stop sign coming this way or not. I, I can't remember for real. Because I drove on a couple of um, off roads yesterday. And there was a couple of stop signs. I can't remember for one on this road. And it's foggy, so. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go too crazy. Seems like it's a little windy out, too. It's always windy out. Yeah, it's windy. It's always windy out though, man. It's always windy. Especially out here. California, Arizona way, the desert. Like you, I don't know, it's just so much land and so much free. You know what I'm saying? So much, you know what I'm saying? It's just wind just be blowing. I ain't too much have to worry about it uh, coming out. Well, this whole week I really, I really had too much worry about uh, the wind because it's, I had a heavy load most of the time. Besides how when I was empty like for like right now. But uh, I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, once I go to the uh drop this off and I not bobtail to um to the yard. See, here we go, stop sign right here. See? You never know what I'm saying? Like you never know. I ain't wanna be flying. Then I then my this joke will creep up on me. They ain't got no stop signs. So I gotta get up out of that quick. But uh, I might uh yeah. Once I drop this empty off and bow tail to the uh Martin yard in Drupal Valley, I don't know when next time I'm gonna film. Like once time next time I record for real. I might not record until I get to Phoenix. Uh, like pulling up to the yard or something like that. We'll see, man. But I, don't, I ain't gonna say I don't like, but like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I should only record at certain, like I like to record when places I ain't never been to. Like when I never been to a place before, I like to record then, or uh, sometimes I don't because I wanna focus. Other times, you know what I'm saying? Like if I've been to a place before, I might record, or maybe I won't. And it stop sign right here, so it's kind of tough place to, to be stopped at, especially on the truck. But yeah, man, uh, we'll see how this works out. As far as me uh, recording and stuff like that. I don't know, I feel like short videos it's quick and to the point, let you know where I've been, where I'm going, fill you in on information. You know what I'm saying? The longer videos, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like, it's, it's I don't know, man. Maybe I'm thinking too much. I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. But I'm finna go ahead and head to this uh, drop off when I drop off this empty. And I'm gonna check back in with you guys later on. I don't know exactly when, so I don't wanna say nothing and not stick to my word, but. You know, y'all know I'm gonna check in with you guys for the week old whip. So until then, man, it's your boy Brett Hucker. Y'all know what time it is, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. I don't wanna scare nobody, you know what I'm saying? Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, 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 hold on. Hey, hey. They gonna do do I do right now. They gonna hold on, man. It's a stop sign, guy. You show me, you want me to rush? Okay. Bow. Bow. All right. Save now, right? Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. I'm not. <laughs> man, 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 I got a story for y'all. So, hey, check this out. Okay, and I'm in the back of the truck right now because, like, the sun don't come up to about another hour. And I want to record this real quick before I head up out of here because I'm going to go ahead, you know what I'm saying, get up out of here. But, okay, so when I had uh, the last part of the video that I was recording when I was getting up out of Walmart and I was leaving, I was heading to drop that empty off like I told y'all. So when I'm uh, heading toward that way, like, about, I say about an hour and a half into my driving, I get to the um like the grapevine on I-5, that grapevine, the mountains, over there towards like Lebec and all that, where it be kind of snowing at, you know what I'm saying, and the mountains and stuff. So as soon as I get like about to go up the mountain, I see a um a, a, a like a uh a sign telling us like uh the road closed, like the what well, the highway, the freeway closed. So like the whole freeway closed 
because of like snow, ice, and rainy conditions and stuff like that in the mountains. So they closed that joker all like it was it was closed. So I stopped driving about ten o'clock in the morning, and I had to like find a truck stop. It was, it was, luckily, it was one right exactly where they closed the road, like right before the uh you go up the mountain. It was a I think it was like a TA on like uh exit two nineteen. On I-5, uh, I think going like uh, north, I believe it was. We had to go, because they had uh, made a single file line. We had to make a U-turn to go back around instead of like going, because I was going south. But they had, you know what I'm saying, had a single file line to where you had to make a U-turn and go back on, you know what I'm saying, going the north way. And I got off like edge of 219, went to a truck stop. So yeah, I had to go to a truck stop until like the road opened back up, or the, or the highway opened back up. And they opened the highway back up until... 9 30 p.m i stopped driving at 10 a.m but they opened the highway back up at 9 30 p.m so basically i took a 10 hour break <laughs> so okay i woke up yesterday at 6 a.m i did that delivery started driving to go drop that empty off and do whatever i had to do you know what i'm saying but i had to stop driving so i stopped driving around 10 30 10 45 and i just took a 10 hour break but i didn't go to sleep no, I didn't go to sleep. I just stayed up. Cause I was waiting to see when the roll back. Cause my clock ended at eight o'clock. And I was like, you know what? It's probably on. Like I seen that it, it said it won't uh, open back up to about nine thirty. So uh, I just stayed up, man. And then soon my clock hit ten hours. I just cause it, it like my clock hit ten hours right when the roll was opening back up. You know what I'm saying? So I just stayed up. And cause I really wasn't even tired. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. I wasn't sleeping like that. So. I hit the road as soon as it happened, and then uh, I talked to my dispatcher. He, like, that empty I had to drop off, I, I didn't have to do that. And I had another load to pick up to bring to Phoenix, and he took all that off me. He just told me, just come straight home, uh, come back to the yard for home time. And that's currently where I'm at now. So after all that, yeah, I'm back at the yard right now. Currently, here's, it's like, yeah, I'm at the yard, but I just had, like, yeah, like it was crazy, bro. Like, I don't know if it like, it feel like it just happened, but it, it, it literally, it did happen about, what, about, Almost what 24 hours ago, but it felt like it was about five hours ago. But yeah, man, what happened? Man, I was in the mountains in it. The I-5 was closed, and you know what I'm saying. I had to shut down for. I had to do a 10 hour break at a uh, truck stop. Uh, you know what I'm saying. And once I restarted, it was, it was about an eight hour drive back to the yard from where I was at. So I, I did like you know what I'm saying. I, I drove, and I had to take a little California break for 30 minutes. So I, once I took that 30 minute break. I shot. I could. I could. I could have kept just driving, but I just wanted. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, take a little break. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. I wasn't in no rush to get back for real. Cause it was raining and all that. Wind was blowing crazy, and I had an empty trailer, so I had to take my time anyway. But yeah, man, that's how it went for me, man. It was crazy, dog. Like it was. I don't know. It was just weird, bro. And like going up the mountains to like when the road opened back up, going through the mountains, man. I was cause the road was still wet, so I was like, man, it's kind of iffy. Like, what if that's like some slippery ice, but I, 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 I thugged it out, you know what I'm saying? It was all good, man. Everything worked out. I got back safe and sound, you know what I'm saying? But Ed, I'm just telling y'all, like, about my, <laughs> that little, you know what I'm saying, four minute part about my story, you know what I'm saying, how that went. But yeah, so I ended up not doing no loads, not bringing no load back, and not dropping off an empty. I just bring the empty back that I already had, brought it back to the yard, dropped it. Now I'm, I just uh, parked my uh, truck, and I'm finna go back. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the crib. And it's like, it's currently like 6, it's currently 6.35 in the morning right now. Sun ain't gonna come up to about another hour, like I told y'all at the beginning of the video. So I'm finna go ahead and head out. I just wanted to uh, check in with you guys, you know what I'm saying, before I head out. I ain't wanna just, cause I could've went home and told y'all the park, but I just figured out, I'm always doing right, you know what I'm saying, right now while I'm, while I'm here already. So, yeah, man, that's how it went for me, dog. So, uh, it wasn't too bad, it's the fact that, you know what I'm saying, the road was closed and I don't know. I feel like I missed out on a little bit of money. I, I found another extra one fifty to two hundred dollars I missed out on, but it's all good, man. Cause hey, I ain't even gonna lie. I, I, I I'm a boy. I ain't even gonna say it. I gotta check my. I gotta check my check stub. Cause I just got a man. I got a crazy check this week. Crazy check. I probably fill y'all up on that. I don't know. Probably next week or something like that. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, so bottom line, I just hope hopefully you guys have a uh, happy New Year's, man. You know what I'm saying? Like uh. To have fun over the weekend, be safe, be smooth. Uh, like I always tell y'all, man, relax, um, sleep good, exercise, eat good, all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy y'all self, enjoy y'all family time, enjoy everything. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, hopefully, you guys have a new nice new year's. 
You know what I'm saying? And nice. Hopefully, y'all next year in January, y'all year just start off right. Cause, you know what I'm saying? I got big goals for 2022, saving money wise, all that type of stuff. But I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna vent too. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do all that on here. I just wanna tell y'all guys. Happy New Year's, happy holidays again, like last week, but happy holidays again, happy New Year's. Hopefully everybody have a safe, sound weekend, have fun, you know what I'm saying, enjoy yourself, you know what I'm saying, because hey, New Year, New Year coming, man, 2022, y'all got some gold, put it down in the comments, what y'all gold for 2022, you know what I'm saying, straight up though, but hey, it's your boy, bro, I'm finna get up out of this thing, man, but hey, like I said, I ain't get no sleep, I ain't sleep, I ain't. I woke up yesterday at 6 a.m., it's currently 6, I've been up for 24 hours, I'm not tired for that reason, but you guys, do not do this at home, don't try this at home, now, driving, I'm a professional, I do this, I used to drive overnights anyway, and I'm like, I don't, like, all I need is like four, five hours of sleep, and I'd be good, not that that's healthy, but I'm just saying, like, if emergency situation, all I need, all I need is about four, five hours of sleep, and I'd be good, but I'm, I'm good right now, you know what I'm saying, probably when I get home, eat a little snack or something like that, I'll probably take a nap, but... I, I doubt it. I'll probably be up all night and I'll probably just get some sleep uh tonight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Probably, but yeah, that's what that's the situation gonna bring for me. But yeah, man, I don't wanna <laughs> I feel like I've been talking all this like so long, but uh like you know what I'm saying, hopefully you guys have a nice holiday. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm repeating myself. But I just wanna make sure I'm getting everything across. I don't wanna miss nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's a 30 minute video. I don't wanna miss nothing, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna add it at the end, you know. Y'all know and the horn up there, so I can't do it. I'm finna go ahead doing it. It's your boy Bird Hawk. Finna got this thing. Hey, y'all know what's up with that. Mm -hmm. I'm out. <laughs>